Hi guys, it's Misa and I'm in Adobe Illustrator and I wanted to show you how to make those little cut out words and names um, that I'm using to personalize in the Dreamscape file pack and they're just fun to be able to do too so I just wanted to show you how I've been doing them. Um, granted I am new to Adobe Illustrator so um, bear with me. Um, but that just goes to show that uh, probably anybody can do it. So let's do this together. All right, so I'm just going to click on the type tool. I'm going to show you how to do this in two different fonts. One's a purchase font, and then I think the other one um, came with Adobe Illustrator. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is this Honduro. It's already kind of a chunky script font, um, which is helpful. Uh, so here I've got it. I'm going to go up to this selection tool, little box around it, shift, click, drag to make it bigger. Um, now I'm just going to double click in there to type out the name I want. So we're going to do Dawson Milo. Okay. So here we have this already. And um, now I'm just going to go down to create outlines and then you can see the little overlaps here. So we're going to go to the Pathfinder window and go ahead and unite. All right. Um, and then there's some other things I'd like to do just to make it easier on myself when this is cut out. So right now it's one big group. I'm going to go over here to ungroup. Click. Okay. Now the D is separate from the Dawson and the little I dot is also separated. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to click the D and I'm just going to scoot it over until it overlaps just a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the dot on the I and I'm also going to connect that. I think I'll connect it to the L. Okay. Now I'm going to select it all again and go back to the Pathfinder and Unite. And so now this will cut as one shape and I don't have to worry about making the D perfectly line up with the Austin and I don't have to worry about that little eye dot slipping through the um, grate of my Glowforge. So there we go. There's Milo Dawson here. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to the type tool. A little clicky here, but I'm going to go down to let's do Lupita. Um, I also like Bromello and Wishful. Um, those are two other um, script fonts that are, um, I think you can buy them. So, okay. Uh, there we go. All right. Double clicked here to so I can um, write in Octavia. Oops. Which is my daughter's name. All right, shift, click, drag to make it bigger. Okay, so this one is flimsy. This one will break apart as soon as you laser it. So we're going to thicken this one up. All right, so um, again, we're going back here to the properties, and we're going to create outlines, and then we're going to unite to make it all one vector shape. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, again, is ungroup all the same things. Okay, so now we're going to move the O over... And I might even want to resize the O. You can do that. Resize the O just a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, and that's, again, a shift, click, drag. Um, that will preserve the um, integrity, the shape of your font, but also you can make it bigger. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing with the eye. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'm going to move that little eye shape down here. So you can... Um, suffer with the dot <laughs> or you can connect it um, here too. Eh, we'll, we'll do the offset first and we'll see what that looks like. All right. So again, I'm going to select it all. Just drag through Pathfinder so that my O is now connected to my C. All right. Now up to object, object, down to path. There's all kind of shortcuts. I don't know them. So I'm just going to do this the long handed way. Uh, bear with me. All right. Offset path. Click. Okay, that's way too much. So then this little offset path window pops up. All right, I don't want to offset that big of a path. So I'm going to try 0 0.01. Click down to preview off, on. All right, that's looking better. I wonder if I could get with 0 0.013. 
without losing a bunch. Okay, I lost a little bit of this S here. All right, gonna go ahead and cancel. And now what I'm gonna do here is scooch on into this S. Here's my direct selection tool, this white arrow. All right, I'm just gonna select my little nodes here. I'm holding down the shift key so I can select them all at the same time. And I'm going to do command copy or control copy from a PC and then zoom out. All right, here we go. Uh, so I have that copied in my clipboard. Again, going back up to the major selection tool, going to select it all, back up to object, down to path, offset path, still too much there. Um, doing the 0 0.013. Okay, preview, done, okay. All right, now we have to get rid of this little one inside. So I'm gonna ungroup here, zoom in, and then I'm just gonna select and delete. In the eye, select, delete. I know, I know there's a faster way to do this, but this is what I'm doing. Delete, all right, and inside the eye, delete. Okay, now there's just one path all the way around. Let's move that little eye over here somehow. Maybe I'll connect it to this. Okay, and this little bugger can be here. All right. Um, okay. All right, so I now I need to do this little guy. So direct selection tool, the little white arrow, click, click, shift, down. I'm going to delete it. And then I'm gonna do Control or Command V. Okay, so there's my little doodad here. All right, so you can see the path here and that's where we're gonna want it to cut. Um, and you can even resize it a little bit. Sorry, I'm in the, the direct selection. Let me just go to the regular selection here. All right, moving it around. No, no, not the arrows. All right imperfect video that's okay okay I know you can't see it you can't see it that's okay so I'm gonna select all of it now I'm going to do um, this exclude so we're gonna exclude that little tiny thing ah see I'm new okay let's move this little baby over all right now try exclude there we go oh, Misa 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 okay all right, so anything that's overlapping will then exclude itself. So make sure you don't have anything that's overlapping that you don't want. Okay, and I'm just doing um, Command Z to undo things. Um, that's what I'm doing. And I'm just going to, see, press the wrong one. There we go. All right, I'm just going to keep this video with all its errors so that you can just see what I do to undo things and whatnot. Okay, it grouped for me. I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to put my little eye here, put my little eye here, select it all, and back to the Unite. Okay, so now we have the Octavia Elise and Dawson Milo, um, and then when we uh, open up uh, Dreamscape file pack, I will pull these in in another video, um, and we will cut them out with the sign. Okay, thanks so much.